I'm going to show you how to make beetroot crustals, the perfect canapé to serve with drinks this Christmas. It's that combination of earthy beetroot and fiery horseradish and the festive flavours of orange juice and red currant jelly that's a match made in heaven. So the first thing you need to do is to roast the beetroot. Take a baking tray and just line it with a sheet of foil, really scrunch it down and top with a sheet of baking parchment. And next I've got some beetroot. I've just given these a bit of a scrub to get any dirt off and then just trim them up. Pop those into the tray and spoon over the red currant sauce. Next, I'm going to add some orange juice, just about two tablespoons, and this is going to help steam the beetroot as well as roast it. And then some olive oil, just a good drizzle over the top. So there's a good grind of salt and pepper, and then some extra perfume, we're going to add some thyme. And then I'm going to close up the parcel, just scrunch everything together, and that just needs to go into a hot oven, about 200 degrees, for about an hour, until the beetroot's tender. Once it's cooked, take it out of the oven, now, check your beetroot's ready, just take a small sharp knife and just push through. The knife should slide through with no resistance whatsoever. Right, so once the beetroot have cooled, it's time to peel them. Take a small knife and just trim the tops off. And then, just using your thumb, just push the skin away. If you find that a bit fiddly, you can use a potato peeler as well. And what you're left with is this beautiful, soft, ruby flesh and perfumed with that thyme and red currant jelly. It's going to taste delicious. Just finely dice the beetroot, roughly sort of half centimetre cubes. Now Christmas is always a busy time, so this is a great canapé to serve up because you can prepare everything in advance, and then all you've got to do is assemble just before your guests arrive. Right, it's time to add this lovely juice, and that's going to act as a lovely dressing. So just cover the bowl with cling film, Pop it in the fridge until you need it. About an hour before you're ready to serve the crustades, make the horseradish creme fraiche. And it really is simple. Just do a ratio of three tablespoons of creme fraiche to one tablespoon of horseradish. Just mix together the creme fraiche and the horseradish in a bowl, and then cover this with cling film. Pop it in the fridge until you're ready to serve. If you're using a warm filling like this one, it's best to heat your crustades. So pop them on a baking tray and into a hot oven for a couple of minutes. So now for the fun bit, it's time to assemble. So it's going to warm through the beetroot, just in a pan. While the beetroot's warming up, chop some parsley. And just add an extra layer of freshness. So the filling's ready, now we need to get our little crustades out of the oven. And these are delicious, they're a great thing to have in the cupboard, and a great base for loads of different canapes. So, take a teaspoon, and just put a little bit of beetroot into each one, and some of our horseradish creme fraiche. Just a little tiny bit on top, you don't want to overpower it. And if you do have any of this horseradish creme fraiche left over, it works brilliantly on cold roast beef. It's delicious. And then just top each one with a leaf of parsley. And just keep going until all your crustades are filled. These are the perfect canapé to serve with your festive drinks. They're beetroot crustades. <laughs>